And yes, guys, I am back with a brand new series, guys. And as you guys know, by the uh, intro, it is the Champions League. I'm going to be doing my own tournament, guys. Um, I decided, why the hell not? I've got this 50 packs um, booster box here of the UEFA Champions League 2021 to 22 sticker collection, guys. 10 sticks per pack for a pound. And I decided, why the hell not, guys? Let's get um, let's get into a Champions League tournament. I haven't done one this year. I have done one before, I do believe, I just can't recall who won it. Um, and I have done the Bundesliga cards before as well, guys. So, yeah, I know you guys really enjoy this. I've done the World Cup, I think, and the Euros as well. So, yeah, I've done plenty. But I know you guys enjoy uh, these tournaments, guys. And I leave, obviously, uh, votes in the um, community tab. So, make sure you go and check them out, guys. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be using the teams from this year's um, Champions League tournament. Um, but I'm not going to use the groups that they're in right now. So, I'm not going to use the PSG, Man City, Leipzig, Club Rouge. Um, which is like Group A. I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm going to make my own uh, group, so we'll be picking it in a minute, guys. But without further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that button, guys. Subscribe down below, because this is group stage, um, match day number one, guys. We'll be opening five packs from this brilliant sticker collection, and each sticker, of course, is a goal, except for the um, the final goals, um, which is, like you know, like the Moscow one from May United Chelsea 1-1, one, one, them sort of ones. So without further ado, let's... So let's get straight into it. Enough rambling on. Let's do it, guys. Let's sort out the teams. Right, guys. So, as you can see, I have set out all the groups, guys. So, you've got Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D, Group E, Group F, Group G, and Group H, guys. So, spread them all out. As you can see, right in front of you. Hopefully, you can see every single one. It looks like you can. Um, and I've um, got Pot 1 here. So, these are all the teams that won the league, guys. Um, and came second in the league as well, out of the top side. So, yeah, that's pot one. I've got pot two and pot three next to me, guys, which I'll be doing in a minute. But, yeah, I'm going to be using my very old 2010 and 11 um, Megatin to, uh, you know, jumble these up, guys. Here we go. So, let's jumble them up. And let's see. The first team in Group A. Rand, I'm, 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 I'll put them like that, guys, so I won't be cheating. I'm, close my eyes. Well, I'm looking away, in fact. So, first team pulled out and going to be in Group A is, here we go, it is going to be Sporting. So, Sporting have um, begun in uh, Group A. I decided to put Sporting in there because they uh, beat Benfica and they did, in fact, beat, um, they beat uh, the Porto as well. And they did qualify for the Champions League. Uh, they beat beating Dortmund. So, they're, I'm going to put them in Group A. So, Group A is um, Sporting starting off there. So, we'll get straight into the next one. Here we go. And let's see what we have in here. So, next up, we do have, next team, we have Bayern Munich for the next team, guys, in Group B. So, Group B is Bayern Munich. Um, obviously, no one wants to face them lot. So, yeah, that is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty frightening, really. Obviously, there's going to be a group of death, guys. I think there's going to be two groups of death. So, yeah, that is uh, not great, whoever gets in that. So, next team, we do have here, it is Inter Milan. So, Inter Milan in Group C. Uh, so that's pretty decent for them lot. Uh, moving around, guys. Obviously, uh, let me know who you're rooting for in this this one, guys. Um, I'm not sure, really. I mean, Tottenham are not in it, so that's a shame. Uh, we do have Lille, obviously, winners of League A, uh, beating PSG. Fair play to them. Uh, so, yeah, there we are. They're in Group D. Into Group E, guys. Here we go. Let's just pick this one. Group E. Next up, we do have, bang, it's AC Milan. Of course, the two Serie A clubs now. Inter and AC Milan both pulled out. So they're in Group E down there. Uh, next up, guys, here we go. We will just pull this team out here. In Group F, we do have Atletico Madrid, winners of the um, La Liga, the Spanish League, of course. Um, so we'll put them in Group F down there. Um, and we've got a few more teams in there, guys. Still a few more teams we do have. Next up for Group G, it is going to be Real Madrid there. So no, um, no Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid in the same group. They're in a different group, so there they are. Very nice. Um, and into Group H, we do have... Who is in Group H? It is Manchester United. Very, very nice. So Man United are in Group H. The first English team pulled out. And it looks like we have two more teams. So these two, two teams are going to be going in Group A and Group B. So Sporting and Bayern Munich. So who's with Sporting? It is Leipzig. So ugh, Leipzig and Sporting. In group A, that's a pretty dead group. Um, but now we're going to be see who's going into Group B. With the Bayern Munich, this is going to be horrid, whoever this is. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is Man City, guys. And that is, I'm not joking, guys. This is not fake, okay? <laughs> Man City are in a group with Bayern Munich. What's the group that is? Group B is looking fiery, guys. So, 
That's it, group A, group B, group C, group D, and all the groups, guys. Uh, so that's pot one, guys. Let's get straight into pot two. Right, guys, so I've just sorted out all the groups. As you can see right in front of you, guys, I've um, managed to get all the badges from each team, of course, guys. Um, some are from cut on the cards, which are from obviously different collections. And the ones, as you can see, all of them at the bottom and a few around the place, I've printed out from, um, obviously, the printer, so from the computer. So, yeah, hopefully you like it, guys. I put a lot of work and effort into all this. Um, so, yes, guys. Anyway, in Group A, guys, we have um, Sporting, Leipzig, Dynamo Kiev and Shakhtar Donetsk. So, Group A is a pretty poor, poor group. But in Group B, guys, we have uh, Bayern Munich, Man City, Atalanta and Club Bruges. So, that's a very difficult group. Um, there were sort of three really good sides in there, so that's, that's be an exciting group that will be. In group C, we have Inter Milan, Porto, Barcelona and Malmo, so it should be quite simple for Inter and Barcelona, you would think. In Group D, we have a Lille, PSG, Zenit and Wolfsburg, a pretty boring group. PSG should absolutely dominate that group there. In uh, Group E, we have the group of death, of course, guys. It is AC Milan, Liverpool, Juventus and Benfica, all top, top sides, so... That'd be very difficult. That was very hard to cut out, by the way. Very hard to cut out, but still looking very nice, of course. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, in Group F, we do have Atletico Madrid, Ajax, Chelsea, and Besiktas. So once again, three decent sides in there. Um, in Group G, we have Real Madrid, Sevilla, Villarreal, and Sheriff Tiraspol. Um, the first time in the Champions League this season, of course. Um, a difficult group, but Real Madrid should win that one. And in Group H, at the end, we have Manchester United, Borussia Dortmund. Salzburg from Austria and Young Boys there. So, uh, yeah, should be a nice, simple group for uh, Dortmund and Ma Manchester United. But, of course, the group of death, the one to watch, is Group B and then maybe Group B. But, um, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get five packs out of this brilliant, brilliant-looking booster box. As you can see here, look at this. Absolutely fantastic. And, uh, yeah, let's get five packs and let's get cracking, guys. First match day, game one of the group stage. Let's see who will be top of the league and at the group at the end, guys. So, guys, I've just got the box open. Here we go. So, there it is. All the 50 packs. Look at all that, guys. Absolutely fantastic. £50 pounds there. Well, so let's trip, pick uh, 50, 50 packs out. Uh, five packs already out of this um, brilliant booster box. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, five random packs here, guys. Uh, plenty more to still crack into, guys. So, let's get straight into it. Without further ado, Match day one of the group stage. Let's see who will finish top of the groups. Right, so first pack, guys. Here we go. Leave me in the comment section down below, guys, who you want uh, to win the Champions League. Um, I am, I'm I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to root for... You know what? I'm going to root for Sheriff. Come on, Sheriff. Yeah, I'm rooting for Sheriff, guys. Let's do that, OK? Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, first pack, guys. Here we go. Let's see who we have in here. Um, and yeah, let's see. Who will get the first goals and finish top of today's group stage match, guys? Of course. So, here we go. Straight into the first pack. If I can get straight into it. And um, they are difficult to open. So, yeah, here we go. First pack of the, of the boost box, guys. And we do start off with Noah Lang for Club Rouge Rising Star, which I've got. This is my third time I've got him, so it's not a great start for me. But it's a great start for Club Rouge there. That makes it um, one goal for Club Rouge in the group, pretty much the group of death, guys. So Club Rouge are leading Group B, which is absolutely fantastic for them, which is amazing. So well done to them. And um, I just want to say, guys, badges don't count as well. So there's the Ajax badge because they don't mean anything. So, yeah, there's the Ajax badge. Looking very nice, but they don't count. Neither do the stadium stickers, of course, as well. Um, so, yeah, very nice anyway. We have um, a London 2013 there. Very nice. Of uh, looks like the um, German... Final there, very nice, but obviously they don't count either. First up, we do have Sal Ninguez for Chelsea, has made it 1 0 there in Group F there. So 1 0 Chelsea in that game. Next up, we've got Ivan Perisic of Inter Milan that gets their first goal of the uh, group stage in Group C with Barcelona, of course, in that group. Very, very nice. So good start for both all these teams so far. We've got a one after the Young Boys Stadium, which is very nice, of course. And Barcelona have got their first goal. It's two goals now in Group C. And it's Clement Longley with the header to um, make Barcelona grab their goal. A massive goal. Um, drawing with Inter right now, of course. Uh, next up, guys. Borussia Dortmund grab their first goal in Group H, which is Rafael Guerrero there. Um, a group that Dortmund shouldn't be struggling in. Um, but next up, we've got a Villarreal player, Chukweze, the, the winger. 
that makes their first goal and the first goal in Group G. A massive goal for them, of course, winning the Europa League last season. And we have Sergio Ramos of PSG with the bullet header to get their first goal and the first very, very first goal in Group D. So the only games, um, the only group that hasn't had goals yet is uh, Group A, of course, Group E, which is a group of death, but the rest do have goals in. So, uh, yeah, good start, guys. Let's get straight into the next one, shall we? And let's see what I have in the next pack here. Hopefully I don't rip any stickers. That won't be very good. So, into the big sticker. Who has scored? 3, 2, 1. It is Zenit. Zenit St. Petersburg. Rising star. Danila Kutalev there, if that's how you pronounce his name. With the goal. Not sure who he is. The youngster, though, for Zenit. Grabs his, their first goal. The Russian team in Group D there. Very, very nice for them. And Malmo have got a shock uh, goal here, guys. And it's their captain, Andes Christiansen there. Uh, for Malmo, that grabs their first goal, the midfielder, in Group C. So Porto, bottom of, the, bottom of that group so far. So, yeah, very nice for um, Malmo there, the Swedish side. I think they're Swedish. Um, but moving on, guys, we have Zapata for Atalanta, who grabs their first goal in Group B. So the top two top sides in Group B are struggling right now. Next up, we've got Manchester United's first goal here, and it's the brilliant Edison Cavani, the veteran striker there, uh, getting their first goal in Group H all the way over there. I think it's going to be two group stage games, maybe three. Let's see how it goes, guys. Um, but next up, Malmo have got another goal, and they're the first team to score two goals out of this whole Champions League, and it's Bonk Innocent. What a name, guys. For Malmo, that gets their second goal in Group C, and they go top of the group. Very nice. And Dinamo Kiev has grabbed the first, very first goal in Group A, guys. And it's Shipolev there. For Dinamo Kiev, the, the Ukrainian side, I should say, that gets their first goal in Group A and the very first goal in Group A as well. Next up, we have a severe player of Thomas Delaney, the centre defensive mid that grabs their first goal in Group G there. See Villarreal having the other one. Next up, we have the first goal for Leipzig over here, guys. And it's um, Amadou Haidara there uh, with the goal. Uh, that grabs their first goal in Group A. And talking about Group A, guys, Shakhtar the next have decided to score as well. Now, the right-back, Tete. I do believe he's a right-back. He says he's a midfielder, but I'm not sure. But Tete for Shakhtar the next gets their first goal in today's group stage match. And Zenit have got another goal, guys. And it's Douglas Santos there, uh, the uh, defender, I do believe, with the goal. So very, very nice for them. Um, that puts, you know, Zenit in front in Group D. So, they're the first two packs, guys. Let's get straight into the next three, shall we? So, there it is so far, guys. Looking very, very good, very exciting. All them stickers were used towards the group stage, of course. So, let's carry on, guys. Um, and let's see who we have in here. Hopefully, uh, you guys are on the edge of your seats at home. Because, yeah, of course, Chelsea, we're winning right now. Manchester United winning. Man City on and lit the Group E have not had a game. That's why, um, goal, that is why it's called a group of death. But let's see what big sticker this is. It is Barcelona's big sticker, hot shot sticker of Memphis, Memphis Departed. That um, puts Barcelona two goals up here in, um, in Group C. So that's a very big goal for them. Porto oh, falling off a bit. But, yeah, drawing with them Malmo now. We have a, a, a second club badge, which is the Dinamo Kiev club badge. Very, very nice, of course, but doesn't count. And Juventus get their first goal in today's video. And it's Danilo there, the right back, um, which is the first goal in Group E. So Juventus lead the way in Group E in, in the group of death there. So well done to them. Manchester United have doubled their lead now. And it's Luke Shaw, the left back, of course, for Man United. Um, that takes, uh, takes the lead in Group H, of course, the two big sides in that doing very well right now. Next up, Lille have grabbed their first goal in Group D, and it's Yazinchi there, if that's how you pronounce his name, to uh, get Lille going in the Champions League there. Very nice. We have uh, the Dinamo Kiev half stadium there. Very nice. I do like that stadium, Dinamo Kiev. Very cool, the Ukrainian side. Uh, we have a 2012 Mu final in Munich when uh, Chelsea won on penalties. Of course, the iconic Didier Drogba um, penalty and, of course, header. Unbelievable scenes, that was. And we have the 2010 final Madrid when uh, Inter Milan beat Bayern Munich 2-0. Fair play to them. Very nice. Um, but Salzburg have grabbed their first goal. And it's the goalkeeper, Nico Mantel, with, um, Salz with the Austrians' first goal of today's video and of the Champions League. That puts young boys bottom of the group. And Zenit get their third goal. And it's Ozdorev there, the uh, Russian midfielder. That makes it free for Zenit now. And they fly up top of Group D. Very nice for them. Wolfsburg in big trouble, really. 
into the fourth pack, guys. The penultimate pack. So it's coming to the end of uh, the group stage today. But let's see if uh, any teams can take advantage of this first match day of the groups. Um, but yeah, let's see what big sticker is. It is... Benfica, Rising Star, and it's Goncalo Ramos there, the Rising Star of Benfica. That gets Benfica's first goal of today's video in the group of death. A massive goal for them. Decent side, Benfica, but you would, you would expect for them to be, get knocked out there. But still, Liverpool and AC Milan on their way out so far. And finally, Man City get their first goal. It's a massive goal. It's Fernandinho, the captain there. That puts Bayern Munich at the bottom of the group. And Man City joint top with Atalanta and Club Rouge. Very nice. Juventus take another lead, another another goal in, another lead, guys. And it's delict the centre-back. That gets a crucial lead on uh, Liverpool and AC Milan there. Makes it two right there. Very nice. Uh, next up, we've got Ria Mahrez. That pulls away from Bayern Munich. And they go straight to the top of Group B. Straight away, quick fire double there from Man City. And yes, there they go, flying up Group B there. And Lille have decided to leap for PSG. And it's Silic, the right-back there. Good player he is, of course. Um, that gets their second goal of the group stages. I'm in Group D there. And Dinamo Kiev, they're not stopping because they've just decided to fly up the league as well in Group A. And it's Kedzora there, the right back with the goal. That puts the Ukrainian side, the Ukrainian championship, to say, at the top of Group A, sporting without a goal. Um, Sevilla grab their second goal and it's the veteran Ivan Rakitic for Sevilla. That gets their first goal in Group G. Um... And Real Madrid still not to score. Sheriff, no, come on. Look at the bottom teams. You can see they're really affected here. But especially down here. Not great for them. Uh, Leipzig grab their second goal now, guys. And it's Lucas Klosterman with a goal. Uh, and that gets Leipzig's second, I do believe. Yes, um, and they go joint top of Group A with Dinamo Kiev. But talking about going joint top, guys. Stepanenko has decided to chip in with a goal for Shakhtar Donetsk. The and they've all got two goals. Um, Shakhtar Donetsk, the Dinamo Kiev and Leipzig. Even Sporting just... You know, looking at looking at getting out already of the group stage, getting knocked out. And I can't do this, guys, but Zenit have scored the fourth goal for them lot. And it's Rakitsky there with the penalty. He does take the penalties um, to make it four goals. I do believe it's four, isn't it? It is four. It's unbelievable by Zenit. And it flies straight to the top of the table um, with a nice, healthy lead. And let's see if they manage to hold on. Or let's see if anyone else managed to nick in with a goal in that in that group there. So into the last pack. It's been a brilliant, brilliant opening. And great, great fun. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's see the big sticker. It is Dusan Tadic of Ajax. That grabs their first goal. It's a huge goal there to maybe get the draw here. And Dusan Tadic in the, with a goal for Ajax in Group F. That puts them joint top with Chelsea. And that is huge for them lot. Massive. Not many goals in that group. Only two. We've got the Manchester City Club badge, which is obviously very, very nice. Uh, we have the Munich 1997. Uh, Dortmund beating Juventus 3-1 at Munich, at final in Munich, which is awesome. Very cool. And Villarreal have grabbed their second goal, guys. And it's Purvis Estepinian. If that's how you pronounce his name there. The left back of Villarreal that grabs their second goal. And leaving Ramjun and Sheriff behind there. Next up, Lille have grabbed their third goal. They mean business with Zenit here. And it's Renato Sanchez, the great midfielder. PSG needs to start kicking into gear. They have got a goal, more than Wolfsburg, but still, I don't think Wolfsburg are getting out of this now. There's three goals there, and there's four there. It's looking bleak. Um, but next up, guys, we do have a Michele there, if that's how you pronounce his name. Or Michele. Michele? I'm not sure. Of Club Rouge. That grabs their second goal, guys. You know what that means? They're joint top with Man City, so fair play to them, not fair play. Uh, moving on, we do have one of the stadiums here. Not sure whose stadium that is, but still very, very nice. And Wolfsburg have finally scored. I started to get a bit worried that they weren't in the collection. But Wolfsburg have finally scored, and they knew they could rely on this man, Veghorst. That grabs them a massive goal, which joins them with PSG there. So, very nice. And Salzburg have scrapped a late, late goal. And it's Christiansen to get above, guys. Um, Borussia Dortmund in the group, which is amazing for them. The Austrian sides to make it 2-2 two, two there. And you won't believe it. Sheriff! They've done it in the last minute. Dimitros Kolovs. Kolovs there. For the Moldovan side. That gets their first goal. And Real Madrid are sent bottom of the group stage. So that is the end of first day. First match day of the group stage, guys. Let's see where everyone is in the table. I've just sorted out all the groups, guys, as you can see. And this is the final standings for the first uh, group stage. I'm not sure I'm going to do two or three group stages. We'll see how it goes, guys. 
Um, we'll see how the views goes. But yeah, uh, thanks so much for joining in this video, by the way. So in Group A, guys, at the top, we do have Leipzig. So Leipzig are first in Group A. Second is Dinamo Kiev. Third, Shakhtar the next. And fourth, Sporting de Portugal from Portugal at the bottom. Um, in Group B, we have Man City in first place. Club Rouge in second place. Atalanta in third. And Bayern Munich in fourth place, which is mental. Absolutely mental. In Group C, we have Barcelona in first, Malmo in second, Inter in third, and Porto in fourth place. Malmo doing fantastically well there. In Group D, what a group this is. Zenit at top there with four goals. Benfica, I know, Lille, sorry, in second with three goals. And then PSG in third with one, and Wolfsburg in fourth with one. So, what a group that is. These two teams, they need to hope. Zenit and Lille don't catch up, uh, don't, don't start scoring again, you know? Oh, mental. In Group E, we have Juventus in first place, ben Benfica in second, AC Milan in third, and Liverpool in fourth. Mental, mental scenes. In Group F, we have Ajax top, first place, second Chelsea, third Atletico Madrid, and fourth Besiktas. In Group G, we have Sevilla in first place, Villarreal in second, Sheriff in third with a late, late goal, and in fourth place and bottom, Real Madrid. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And in Group H, we have Manchester United first, uh, Red Bull Salzburg um, in second, Bristol Dortmund in third, and Young Boys in fourth, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that button, guys. Subscribe down below. Let me know if you want to win. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining, guys. And we'll be back with another five packs for the group stage. I'm trying to get it open, but I've failed. Goodbye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.